Hi, my name is Nathan Bailey and I'm the founder of Simplify Business Coaching. One of the challenges that people in small business find is that they feel like their business owns them rather than them owning their business. The business has started to become a burden and actually you feel exhausted by the end of the day rather than energized. What I've discovered is there's actually a ideal day for you running your business. In fact, this is true of anybody at work. What you should find is that about a third of your time is spent on energizing work. That's work that really excites you, you get fueled by, and the more you do it, the more you feel like you want to do it. That's about a third of your day spent doing energizing work. Then about two thirds of your day should be spent on doing uh, pleasing, pleasant work. So work that you find enjoyable, but it's not particularly, you know, it's not the energizing stuff, um, but it's not draining either. You, you're happy you did it, you had a good day if you did your pleasant work. And then about a quarter of your time is spent on necessary work. That's the stuff that has to get done. Maybe it's your paperwork or your administration or other necessary parts of your business that should take about a quarter of your day. And then there should be no time for toxic work. So that's work that actually leaves you feeling exhausted, injured, traumatized, or any of those kind of negative emotions emotions, that is work that hopefully isn't part of your work day. So that's the ideal day, but if you're starting to feel like your business owns you, what you're probably feeling like is most of your day is in that necessary workspace, and maybe a little bit even in the toxic space. And what I do as a coach is I actually come in and I help you to pull apart your day and to reprioritize it so that you can actually get back into that energizing space. Part of this is also about the rhythms of your week. So one of my clients recently, she's a very creative person and uh, great uh, creative expression in her business, um, but also in her personal life. And she wasn't making time for it in her personal life. And that was starting to get her feeling exhausted and drained. When we pushed back at her work and created some space for her to develop her creative expression, her energy levels actually rose significantly significantly and her work actually was more effective so she was doing more work and enjoying it more because she was making time for that creative expression in her personal world. So if you're feeling like you're struggling in your business, feel free to contact me as a coach and I can actually take you on that journey to restructure your week so that you can spend most of your week in that energizing and pleasant space. If that interests you, click on the link below and sign up for a free consultation session with me.